stars have intrigued humankind for millennia. Over the years, we have built machinery that has helped us understand these great unknowns. Yet, there still seems to be so much to discover beyond our atmosphere. Astronomers still work to find these answers. So today, we'll be taking a look at three recent discoveries. We found some strange radio sources in a distant galaxy cluster. A galaxy cluster is the most massive object in the universe that keeps itself whole through its own gravitational force. They mostly contain dark matter but also host large amounts of hot plasma. And they also contain hundreds to thousands of individual galaxies clustered together, as the name suggests. Recently, astronomers found rare radio objects inside a galaxy cluster deep inside our universe. The radio objects include a radio halo, a radio relic, and a fossil radio emission. While most galaxy clusters have some kind of radio object, the ones found in this galaxy cluster, named Abel 3266, were different. Scientists have found that these radio objects do not adhere to the known theories about the origins and characteristics of radio objects, causing scientists to question those theories. Scientists believe radio halos, relics and fossils are created when one galaxy cluster collides with another. When they collide, energy is transferred into the hot plasma that makes up galaxy clusters, which can cause a radio emission. These emissions can be generated in a wide variety of shapes and sizes. For example, radio relics are arc-shaped and can be found on the outer edges of a cluster. At the same time, halos reside more toward the cluster's center. Fossils are a bit different. Fossil radio emissions are created when a supermassive black hole dies near the center of a radio galaxy. Abel 3266 is about 800 million light-years away and is a particularly dynamic colliding system. Scientists were initially perplexed because no relics or halos were found on Abel 3266, a cluster that should have had these radio objects in it. To get a better look, scientists used the ASCAP radio telescope and the Australia Telescope Compact Array to view Abel 3266 in more detail. The data helped astronomers see the differences in the energy emissions coming off the galaxy cluster. They used the data to look more closely at the newly discovered radio objects and found that they do not have the same characteristics as other radio objects. This new discovery changes how scientists understand radio objects, galaxy clusters and how they interact with the universe. New map reveals 1 million hidden galaxies. Scientists have mapped out over 1 million galaxies that have been hidden thus far. Usually, these galaxies cannot be seen due to the large size and brightness of our neighbor, the Magellanic Clouds. The Magellanic Clouds are dwarf galaxies that are neighbors to our own galaxy, the Milky Way. The clouds are so bright and so large that they are visible to the naked eye. Their brightness and size also impeded scientists' view of some more distant galaxies until a group of astronomers found a way to look past the Magellanic Clouds and map out approximately one million distant and hidden galaxies. Jessica Craig, a University of Kiel astronomer and a member of the map-building team, explains the importance of the new map featuring these hidden galaxies. The Magellanic Clouds are beautiful galactic companions, but unfortunately they block part of our view of objects further out. Our work is helping overcome that, and in the process, helping to fill in the gaps in our map of the universe. Since these galaxies are not easy to see, the map-building team first attempted to use the Visible and Infrared Survey Telescope for astronomy in Chile to photograph gaps between stars within the galaxies. Still, the Magellanic Clouds made it too difficult to see. The hidden galaxies appeared redder and fainter than they actually were because of the effect of the Magellanic Clouds. To overcome the lack of clarity, the team used the Galactic Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder Survey, or GASCAP, which can look past the dust between the Earth and the faraway galaxies. With the help of GASCAP, scientists were able to begin to build a map of the Magellanic Clouds, including the detailed placements of the gas and dust within the clouds. 
This map allowed them to account for the faintness and reddening factors of the more distant galaxies. To distinguish between the vast number of light sources in their images, they used data from the Gaia Observatory to map out stars. Stars shift over time, but galaxies stay mostly in place. By mapping the movement in this area over a time period, they were able to determine whether the light source they were looking at was a nearby star or a distant galaxy. To corroborate their findings and ensure they had sorted each light source correctly, they looked at the reddening of each light source. The redder the light appears, the farther away the source. So the galaxies would have longer wavelengths of visible light and appear redder. Finally, using artificial intelligence, the astronomers were able to build a 3D map of the distant galaxies, resulting in an estimated 1 million more galaxies mapped in our universe thanks to these astronomers' precise and detailed work. The James Webb Space Telescope is measuring distant galaxies 5 to 10 times better than any other telescope. In December of 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope was launched. It was given a six-month mission to come back with the most up-to-date, detailed views of our universe. Six months later, in July of 2022, the world saw the photos. Data from the James Webb Telescope is essential for many reasons. One of the reasons this data is so vital to astronomers trying to understand how the first galaxies in the universe were formed. By using the near-infrared camera on the telescope, scientists can get the most accurate stellar mass estimations from some of the most distant galaxies we have ever measured. This new data is exceptionally more accurate than any other piece of data collected thus far. Stellar mass, or the mass of a star, is a critical measurement. It can help scientists understand how a galaxy was formed and how it has evolved. In fact, it is one of the most important pieces of data scientists can use to determine the creation and growth of a galaxy. Throughout a galaxy's lifetime, stars get added as dust and gas transform. The stellar mass of an object measures the total number of stars in the galaxy. This allows scientists to track the galaxy's evolution accurately, and viewing distant galaxies helps them view galaxies in the creation process, which will help them understand our universe on a broader scale. This is just one of many reasons the new discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope will be essential as scientists learn more about how our universe and the galaxies within it were formed. Each one of these amazing discoveries was years in the making, and each one is bringing us closer to understanding the space beyond our atmosphere a little bit more. They are a far cry from Galileo's observations of the universe, but each of these discoveries was important to get astronomers to where they are today, and these newest findings will lead us to the next great discovery. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.